Have you ever wondered how exactly the process of learning works? I mean, how does something get from our environment into our brain and stay there? As it turns out, scientists who study learning have found that it's actually a very long and perilous journey. Most bits of information that enter our brains get lost somewhere along the way. They never find a home in our long-term memory. But some do, of course, and that's where we come in as educators. So let's start with where the learning journey begins in something called immediate memory or sensory memory. At any given moment, our brains are bombarded by millions of bits of information or external stimuli streaming into them from our five senses. It's actually a little bit overwhelming for our brains. The stimuli just keep coming. It's kind of like that old episode of I Love Lucy at the, at the candy factory, you know, where she's trying to box the candy and they keep coming down the conveyor belt too fast for her to handle. Our brains have the same problem. They receive an estimated 11 million bits of information per second, and they can only process about 120 bits per second. So what do they do? Well, they ignore most of it, of course. In fact, our brains are really good at ignoring things. So what does get our attention? I mean, what makes our brains pay attention to one thing and ignore another? Well, as it turns out, our brains use something of a pecking order. First, we pay attention to things that trigger our emotions, things that make us happy or sad, fearful, excited, worried. Basically, those emotions alert us to things in our environment that could give us rewards or that we need to avoid uh, to avoid harm. So as we design learning experiences for students, we need to keep in mind that our kids are more likely to engage in learning if they can connect it with positive emotions and set aside negative emotions. Next, we pay attention to external stimuli that grab our interest, things that are unexpected or unique, intriguing or puzzling, right? In a word, we pay attention to things that make us curious. We are all hardwired, in fact, to be curious, to pay attention to what's new and different in our environments.